Hey YouTube, it's Tanya. What's going on? I am doing a video. I'm doing a video response to Arkansas Big Girl. Um, basically, she sent me a little email message, letting me know that she is close to 20 months natural, like I am, but her hair is not as long as mine, and she suffered some breakage. And I think that she's just a little frustrated. So I kind of want to give her some tutorials on um, what she can do to help her hair growth and um, possibly why it's breaking off. So there are typically three things that I think people need to know when dealing with natural hair. Um, one of the reasons why I did the big chop um, outside of the healthiness and the nervous breakdown or the main nervous breakdown was that in my mind if I cut my hair off at the scalp and grew it out my skills of taking care of my hair would grow as my hair grew, which that did happen. Um, the first thing you need to know about your natural hair, well, there's a three part to this. You need to know if your hair is thick or thin or someone in between. What this means is if I were to part my hair into, in, and square off an inch, so we have an inch of hair squared off, is that hair is there a lot of hair in that head, in that area, or is is there not a lot of hair follicles in that area? And it's going to change. My hair is thicker in the back, especially right here. My hair is thicker here than it is in the front. So that's the first part. I feel like there's something on my corner of my mouth. Okay. The second part is, is your hair coarse or fine? My hair. Um, is very is, is pretty coarse um, and the follicles are pretty thick so if I were to pull out a, a hair out of my head in the front they're finer than the back but if I was to pull a hair it looks thicker than a thread so I have very thick hair and then I have a lot of hair in each individual um, square inch um, also is your hair porous or non-porous does your hair absorb product which helps make it stronger, or is it hard for your hair to absorb products and nutrients? So something, those are three things you have to know about your hair. If you don't know those three items, you're probably not getting the best products for your hair. You need to know your hair type before you can choose the products that best service your hair. Okay, um, number two, keep your hair away from damaging items. Damaging items can be tools, such as combs, brushes, um, heating appliances like um, curlers or flat irons, or it could be clothes, fabrics. Whenever I wear my hair down, um, I make sure I'm not wearing cotton or wool. Cotton and wool are like kryptonite to natural hair. Cotton and wool, if your hair is touching them, it will, number one, pull the moisture from the hair. Um, the number two, it breaks your hair off. So as you can see, I'm wearing a cotton turtleneck. Actually, this is a cotton blend, but my hair is up and away from the turtleneck. But you can see that my edges down here are frizzy and they're dry. And that's because the cotton is pulling those out. But I could twist these and tuck them into my um, hair, and I will do that. And that's what I normally do. I normally, let me just show you. I normally will put product on here, and I'm just going to grab some of my honeydew real quick show you whoops so we're gonna grab some of the honeydew by Owen handmade okay and the way I would normally do is just twist those edges okay and then what I do after that typically is I grab a bobby pin and I actually have baby ones, but since I'm doing this video, I'm not going to take the time to look for baby ones. So I would get the ones that are half the size of this one. And then I just tuck that hair into my hair so that way it's not rubbing against that um, cotton troll neck. So um, going back to the first part where I said tools like combs and brushes, I don't comb and brush my hair throughout the week. Um, I wash my hair once a week because I believe that you should have clean hair um, and I condition, deep condition my hair and then I style it. Whether it's going to be a single back, a single puff pullback or if it's going to be two strand twist, 
I style my hair that one day, I don't touch it ever again until I wash it the next week. I keep my hands out of my hair. I keep tools out of my hair. I comb my hair once a week. I very rarely use a brush, very rarely. So just don't mess with your hair. Leave it alone, let it do what it's gonna do. Um, typically our hair, especially the coarser it is, is um, very delicate. You may think your hair is strong, but it's very delicate. So it's very easy to snap and to break. So stay out of your hair. Um, let's see, what else do we have here? Breakage. Um, last part. So the first thing is know your hair type. Second thing is keep your hair away from tools that might that may damage it. The third part is use great products. I watch videos sometimes on YouTube where people are talking about um, like herbal essence or I don't know, just suave or something. Um, look at the ingredients in these products. I I would not use half the products I see on on YouTube in my hair. I pay more money because I want to use products that are good for my hair. Um, parabens are known to cause cancer. Why would you want to put that in your hair? Sulfate strip the hair. Again, why would you put that in your hair? If you can't pronounce it, it probably is not good for your hair. Um, you, everyone who watches my videos knows I absolutely love Hydrotherma Naturals. The reason why I love this is because number one, it's a black owned company. Um, it's a black owned company and Salima, who is the owner of this company, she uses this on her hair. She is a licensed cosmetologist and a licensed nurse, so it really can't get better, can it? Um, this product line is not cheap. I know it's not cheap, but if you join Hydrotherma Naturals on Facebook, you can send Salima an email and she'll send you a link to buy the sample package. I strongly recommend you buy the sample package, number one, so you can see what good quality products feel like on your hair. Number two, you can see what they do to your hair. Number three, you can see if this is a good line for you, because it may not be. It works great for my hair, doesn't mean it's gonna work great for your hair. Um, also, Darcy's Botanicals, also another one that's black owned, and they use awesome ingredients and they have awesome products. I've only used a few of their products because I already have a good shampoo, I already have good deep conditioners, I already have a good oil. I don't need to find those again. But I do use the Juicy Peach Daily Leave-In Conditioner, and I swear by it. Um, that has switched out. That was my trade-off from the Hydrotherma Naturals line. And um, also Owen Handmade. And all of these come in sample sizes. Try expensive products that are good quality and black-owned. Why would you want to buy a product from someone who doesn't have hair like you? Again, all hair is the same. That is true. But African American hair has that extra layer. So we need something for that extra layer to penetrate it and to protect it. So go with someone that's black owned that actually uses their own products on their hair and you've seen them use their own products on their hair. Um, if you go to Healthy Hair Journey or Hydrotherma Naturals on Facebook, I'm sorry, YouTube, you will see Salima do, she does demos all the time and she actually uses all of her products on her hair. Totally amazed with that. And you can see their hair growth from day one when she did the big chop to now. And three years later her hair is like down her back. So um, let me get off of that. But anyway, use black owned products by black owned companies um, that actually care about your hair and know what you need to make your hair um, I guess you could say grow. That encourages growth. There was one more point that I had to give you and I can't remember what it was now. Let's see if it'll come back to me. If not, I'll have to end the video. Oh! Protective styling. Not necessarily styling, but protecting your hair. When I go to bed at night, I always, 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 always cover my entire head with a silk scarf. I don't like satin pillowcases because my face sweats on them and it drives me insane. But I always, even if I have been out doing something I probably shouldn't have done and I barely want to take a bath, I make sure that I cover my hair with a scarf. Scarf 
every night because I don't want my hair rubbing against that pillow, especially if you have a cotton pillowcase, and I do, because that cotton is going to pull the moisture out of your hair and it's going to break your hair off. So always cover your hair up at night before you go to bed. People use satin bonnets. I don't like those things. Again, I sweat really bad. The satin bonnet doesn't help me. And there's been times where I've taken the satin bonnet off and it would pull my hair out. Negative. I went back to what I did when I was relaxed, which is a silk, 100% silk scarf. So I think that's it. Um, so let's, let's, let's go back. Number one, know your hair type. Number two, refrain from using tools that are going to damage your hair. Um, number three, protect your hair um, by sleeping in a silk scarf. Um, and cover your whole head up. Number four, use quality products on your hair um, by people who know your hair. Um, and that's it. All right, Arkansas Big Girl, good luck. If you have any other questions, please feel free to keep on emailing me, and I'll try to answer those questions as best as I possibly can. And everybody else, have a great day. Take care.